Welcome to Car Side Reviews. I'm Adam. Last night I saw the Joker with a buddy. We recorded after the film was done. Didn't turn out. It was really late. The footage sucked, so I had to re record today. You didn't need to know any of that information. Let's talk about the movie. Here's what you do need to know. Going into this, I was fresh. I saw maybe a 30 second trailer clip, something online, a TV spot. And after that, I thought, I don't need to see any more. I didn't even know who was in the film outside of Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker himself. So my expectations, my excitement, it was, it was just very flatlined. It was just very stale. I wanted to be impressed. I wanted to be possibly blown away by this. And when I left, I my first impression was they should have called the movie Arthur and not Joker because 95% of this film is focused on Arthur becoming the character. In fact, I think the the biggest comparison I could give it is one that maybe 5% of the people watching will get, which is Better Call Saul. They're on the fourth or fifth season now, and he's still Jimmy. He hasn't even fully turned into his Saul Goodman character yet. You know, hours and hours and hours later, we still haven't really seen Better Call Saul. And that's what I felt like when I was watching this two-hour film, thinking, Okay, you know, I get it. He's a down on his luck, sad clown joker. He's, he's, he's being beaten. He's got a bad backstory. He's hurting internally. He's got some major mental issues. He's suffering from some clinical disabilities. There's obviously been a lot of interpretations on the character over the years from Mark Hamill's brilliant voice acting as the animated character. And, you know, he does the video games and then the, the, the TV show and all sorts of stuff to... Heath Ledger's darker, you know, grittier take, more serious uh, role. And then you have like Jack Nicholson and the, that, that, seven, that 60s version of the character. I can't remember the actor's name. Let's talk about some of the pros. I don't want to give any story elements away. This is spoiler free, like all my car sides are, unless I put up a giant spoiler warning. The cinematography in this is gorgeous. There is a lot of breathing going on with this. The, the movie takes its time to unfold the story. These shots will hold for sometimes 20 to 30 seconds, and you'll just kind of watch as he meanders down the streets or hops downstairs, usually dancing, which is odd. There's an artistic you know, style to this thing, too, which I think is sometimes a bit played out. Uh, you know, since the Joker is constantly down on his luck and, and being beaten and, and, and being taken down, it's just weird that he rises above it with this kind of dance number that he does. We're talking six or seven times when he's just kind of dancing in his underwear, dancing down an alleyway, dancing before going on stage. It's, and it's not even like a, a fun, cool dance to watch. It's just him kind of awkwardly positioning his body in weird ways. The awkward dancing is accompanied by a terrific score. The thing is beautiful. It's just a little haunting. It's very epic in nature. Oftentimes when he's just kind of sitting there struggling internally, we don't really see what's going on other than a man who's clearly broken and, and he's fighting himself constantly. Clearly inspiration was taken from The Dark Knight with Heath Ledger and they thought, you know what, what if Ledger had his own movie? What if that was the sole focus and there was a few other characters coming in and out from the Batman universe, but not really much. They're just background. What if we did that? And that's what Joker attempts to be. I just, and here's the problem for me, I just didn't like this story that much. I didn't like this version of, of Joker very much. I wanted something more, it's okay to give us a backstory and, and to give us the, the troubled way that he's brought up, but I wanted him to turn into the Mark Hamill Joker, the, the Joker from old, you know, with the, the purple suit and he's, he's wild, he's a bit goofy, he's silly, he's got like wind up teeth and, and nut, nutsy stuff. This takes the Heath Ledger route, but, but goes even more extreme with it. It makes him even more of a human, more of a serious threat in, in, a, in, a, in a mental way, not in a physical way. That being said, I was still far more intrigued by Heath Ledger's Joker because of the mask on every portion of his life. Not just on his face, on his history. We don't know how he got the scars. We don't know how he was brought up. This version removes all the facade. We know exactly why Arthur's the way he is, why he keeps a journal of disturbing thoughts mixed in with some terrible jokes, why he wears the makeup, why he's searching for something more to his life, 
And that's where the review is kind of tough for me. If this movie wasn't called Joker, if it was called Arthur, it had nothing to do with the Batman universe. This is a really good movie. It, it, it's a good character study. But because it says Joker, because there's an expectation with that character, it just didn't live up to it for me. And I was just waiting the whole film for something more. And, and I know that's not going to be a problem for a lot. I'm sure it's getting a lot of praise. You know, Phoenix does a great job. He, he's, he's vulnerable. He's got a physicality. He lost a ton of weight, clearly, for the role. There's just You can tell he put in the work to make this character stand out. And he does stand out, just not in the way I wanted it. And that's okay. It's, it's, not, not, for everyone. it's not going to be for everyone. You may be a parent wondering, Adam, give me some advice. Can I take my child to this film? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, I, I would make sure they're in their teens uh, for multiple reasons. One, it is a slow film. There's, you know, it's a character study. So there's, there's a lot of just dialogue. There's a lot of kind of artsy musical shots that don't really have much going on. And I don't think kids will really you know, appreciate that too much. There, there's not a lot of action. There's, uh, but when there is action, it is kind of, it's graphic. There's there's some violence. There's a lot of blood. There there's one or two scenes in particular that that make you think, okay, this is like American Psycho. This is very this is very in your face. They don't last long, and they they weren't like I don't know if you've seen Daredevil, the TV show on Netflix. There's nothing really worse than that. You know, like that door scene with the head, or or uh, what's that other one? The Boys. Uh, yeah, it's about like that. So which is a great show. The other hang-up I had with the story, outside of this doesn't even seem like the Joker, is they do a couple of these, you know, twists and turns, I guess, uh, that they, they reveal later on, and I thought the reveals were incredibly obvious. I was just waiting for them to say, aha, look it, look what we did. They, they, they didn't surprise me in the slightest. They may surprise some, I just, that, that didn't do anything for me. So, in, in fact, it actually just hindered the story's progress more than helped it. And I found it kind of unnecessary at some points. I don't really have anything else to add. If you're pumped for this, you're probably going to like it a lot. It's definitely checking a lot of boxes for people. Me not really having any sort of hype or expectation, just it, it didn't really do much. I just thought, okay, this was fine, but that, that's not the Joker I wanted to see. So, you know, I opt, I, I say if a movie's worth the drive. You should head out to the theater, go to it, or it's a complete wreck meaning don't see it at all. This, I think, falls in the middle. I'd say, I'd say, you know, stay at home, stream it when it comes out on Amazon or Netflix or all the other freaking apps that are out there. Just wait if you're not in a rush. I don't think there's anything too compelling that's going to gonna move the needle if you weren't really wanting a Joker movie or cared about a Joker movie. I saw a couple articles about it getting a lot of heat for being controversial and, and whatnot. I, I didn't see that at all. I think that some of that is maybe artificial or, you know, sites trying to just drum up controversy for the sake of it. Obviously, you can see a lot of ties to real world events if you look for them. They're, they're pretty in your face, actually. So you could say like, oh, this represents this group of people. This group of You're going to see what you want to see. That's what a, a good movie does. You know, it, it gives you something to talk about. It, it, it adds some layer to the story. And this does that a little bit. It's pretty on the nose to me, though, so I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me in the car, and I'll see you next time.